Let's talk about Ingress and the Ingress controller. Ingress is a solution available since Kubernetes 1.1 that allows inbound connections to the cluster. It's an alternative to the external load balancer and the node ports. So it's a very interesting alternative for cloud providers that don't have a load balancer. Ingress allows you to easily expose services that need to be accessible from the outside to the cluster. With Ingress, you can run your own Ingress controller, basically a load blender within the Kubernetes cluster. There are default Ingress controllers available from Kubernetes, or you can write your own Ingress controller. Basically, you can even write your own load blender. This is how it works. If you connect from the internet over port 80 or 443, which is HTTP and HTTPS, you're going to be hitting this Ingress controller. You configure what pod needs to be handling the connections from the Ingress controller. You can use an Nginx Ingress controller that comes with Kubernetes. That Nginx Ingress controller is then going to distribute the traffic to your services. So you can have application one, that can receive traffic from your Ingress controller and application two. Which one is going to receive traffic is going to be based on rules that you define in this Ingress object. Some of the Ingress rules can be that if you connect to host X, example.com, then you go to pod one. Do you connect to host Y, dot example.com, then you go to pod two, and application two in our case. You can also make rules based on the path. So the first two were rules based on the host. You can also make a rule, for instance, slash API v2 needs to go to pod n, like another pod, a third application, for instance. You can create those ingress rules using the ingress object. You can see that the API version here is still in beta. At some point, it's going to come out of beta and you have to change this. But for now, this is an extension that is in beta. The object is of kind ingress. We give it a name, hello world rules. And then you're going to specify those rules. You can say if it matches the host hello world v1 example.com, then do it HTTP forward to this backend that is described here. You can specify a path, it just slash. The backend in our case is going to be hello world v1 which is a service that we're going to launch. And this service runs on port 80. Then we're going to have a second host, hello world v2 example.com, also HTTP forward, path is also slash, and we have another backend. So depending on which host you're going to hit, you are going to get to a different application, basically. These example.com hosts are non-existent, but you can configure your own domain name, your own host name. Or you can just work with paths and you can say slash v1 goes to my v1 application and slash v2 goes to my v2 application. That's also possible. In the next demo, I will show you how this works.